So, I've got myself a cup of coffee. Starbucks coffee. Hmm. It's good. It's really good. Starbucks is my favorite coffee. My favorite coffee chain. I like going into Starbucks. But it wasn't always that way, no. Back in the mid 90s, I used to live in Florida. Um, and I was heading north on I-95. I was coming back from the Florida Keys, heading to Daytona Beach, where my home was. I'd been in the Florida Keys for a few days for just a bit of a vacation. And I stopped in a service station. And in there, there was a coffee shop which was called Starbucks. I wasn't really familiar with Starbucks until that point. But I went in there and I got myself a cup of coffee and put some cream in it. Off I went. And I thought to myself, that was expensive. Never going back there, I said. But then I started drinking the coffee and I also thought to myself, that's really good coffee. Well, cut a long story short, three months later I had a Starbucks credit card, so every time I spent money on this credit card I collected Starbucks points so I could go to Starbucks more often and get more of their coffee. It was great. Anyhow, wherever you live, I hope you have a Starbucks too. I really do. I live in Wasaga Beach, Ontario now, but as I said, I used to live in Florida at one time. And just recently, we got a Starbucks, and it's great, and I love it. It's in a great location, and it's perfect. I just thought I'd tell you that. Hey, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, this is what we're going to do. We're heading down to a location called Glen Karen. Now, you may recall a week and a half, maybe two weeks ago, we were in Glen Karen doing a um, hike along some country roads. And we took some pictures of a stream and, and, and uh, some trees and some fall colors and some fences, this kind of thing. Well, whilst I was down there, I got talking to one of the locals and they told me about this trail that goes along the side of the Mad River. And they said it climbs up does this trail up into the cliffs and bluffs along the side of the uh, river and you can get some really interesting views as a photographer they said you might like that you might get some interest as interesting photographs and i said you know what i might like that too so yeah so that's where we're heading today we're heading back down to glen karen we're going to do this hike um, along the side of the river and just see what's there and see where it takes us never been there before never done that hike so we'll see Secondly, right now it's about 4.45 in the afternoon. Um, and it's, uh, well, the weatherman said uh, we could have some sun or not. He said we could have some rain or not. He said you might have some clouds or not. So I thought to myself, you know what? I like all those or nots because if we have some sun, we have some clouds, maybe even a little bit of drizzle here and there, sometimes this lends itself into a really, really nice sunset shot. So whilst we're out today, that's something else we're going to keep in mind. We're going to look for a location because I haven't pre-scouted a location for a sunset on this, on this trip. So we're going to look for a location that would be suitable um, for a sunset shot maybe with some trees, maybe an old barn, something in the foreground, maybe a little something in the midground, and then of course, the sunset itself. So hey, we're gonna enjoy our coffee. Well, I am anyhow. We're gonna head down to Glen Karen. We're gonna get our gear. We're gonna set off on the hike to begin with. Let's enjoy the ride. Mm, that really is good. Last week or so when I was here, we walked over the same bridge. The local fella told me, go over the bridge and look on the left side. On the left side, you'll see some rocks. Right behind that rocks, those rocks, is the beginning of a trail that's gonna take you up onto the cliffs and bluffs along the side of the river. I said, okay. It looks like these are the rocks right in here. And it looks like this could very well be the beginning of the trail. There's actually, whoa, there's actually a sign through there showing a hiker, if you can see that sign. So I'm guessing this is indeed 
the beginning of the trail, which looks pretty cool. So hey, let's head down this trail, see what we can see and where we get to. In fact, right at the beginning, there's waterfalls right there. Wow, rapids. Definitely gonna check that out, but we're gonna check that out on the way back. Because I want to see about this elevation, about getting up high on the cliffs. Let's see what it looks like when we get there. Well, it's really interesting through here. I'm just gonna pan uh, the GoPro around, let you take a little bit of a look through here. Um, with the trees, the foliage, it actually looks pretty cool. I love this kind of stuff. We're also starting to see some nice fall colors on some of the trees. Uh, right now we're approaching mid-October, so yeah, we're, be, we're a week or so away from peak kind of fall colors here in Ontario, or central Ontario, anyhow. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, just notice too, a little peak of sunshine coming through those clouds. That might be good, especially for that sunset later on. Let's have a look. Okay guys, so we have reached the top of this cliff. Um, I'm going to show you what I can see. So there's the river below. There is indeed a nice curve, a bend in the river. Um, not the most amazing sight from a photographer's point of view, although it is stunningly beautiful up here. Um, just a hard kind of composition, but because we're here, let's set up the tripod anyhow. Let's get a wide lens on there. Maybe my 10 to 22 mil. I'm going to try that first. Um, so we're going to get the tripod. I'm going to use my Canon 7D. I'm going to use my Canon uh, 10 to 22 mil lens. Let's just see what we can come up with here. Maybe we can get a shot. Now, what we don't want to do is get too near this, the edge of this cliff uh, because it is a long way down there. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. You know what, and in fact, we might actually try to get down there and see what else we can see. There's some really kind of cool driftwood down there too. That might be somewhat interesting to take a look at. Let's just take a little look, see what it looks like through here. Well, you know what? Huh, now the sun's coming out. Okay, fine, great. It's going to add a little bit of color to a little bit of spots, um, which is fine. And that in itself, let me just drop that down a little bit. could actually be quite interesting. So, I know I said I was going to use my 10 to 22 mil lens. I'm not sure if that'll be too wide. Right now I have about 18 to 55 mil kit lens on there. Um, let's just see. Let's just see what we come up with with that kit lens on there. Find a little bit of the sky in there. Let's take that all the way out. Yeah. So right now, I have an ISO of 100, uh, F8, which is giving me 1 15th of a second. Hmm. Might start to get a little bit of silkiness to the water at that, but that's not really what I'm looking for right now. But at 1 15th of a second, I am going to use my uh, cable release. Let me get this attached. We'll come right back. Okay, so... I've got my cable uh, release attached now. Now, I have a focal length all the way out to 18 mil. I have F8 with an ISO of 100. It's actually giving me 1 13th of a second. Let's take a look. So there, that's the shot. Now, I didn't bring my glasses. I came all the way up here and I didn't bring my glasses in my bag, which I quite often forget. Um, so I can't really see well enough if the image is good 
However, we're going to have a peek and see what we can see. And you know what? That could be quite interesting. It really could. Um, I am going to change to my wider lens now and just go down from that 18, maybe down to 15. Take a little look there, see what we get. So let's do that. Let's change that lens right now. Always when you're working like this, at the edge of a cliff, always, always, always keep in mind, no matter what you're thinking about, that cliff is always there. Keep that in mind. Always be vigilant. Okay. So we've popped on our 10 to 22. Wow. Amazing difference. Look at that. Oh my. Tell you what, let's have some fun here and take that all the way out to about 10 mil. Because it does look interesting. Right now at 10 mil, we're at 1 15th of a second. Let's take that shot. And then just, as you've seen me do before, let's go through the focal ranges. Here you go, we've got a few shots of that. If we've got anything, I'm going to post it right now. So let's take a look. So hey, you know, one thing about photography is it's all about exploration. And you can come here at so many different times of day in different weather conditions, be it bright sunshine or gray overcast or, or some sun poking through here and there in summer and spring and fall and winter. And you get totally different environments, totally different uh, scenes to shoot. This is my first time here. Will I come back? You know what? I would probably come back here in the winter, assuming I can get up that trail okay. And assuming I can find it, because it really is quite windy. If other people have used that trail, then I'll find it, of course. Um, but a fresh snowfall could be really quite pretty here. Anyhow, let's take a look around, see what else we can find. Okay, so... We moved along further down the river, just a few hundred yards, and we come to an area that it's completely dammed off with um, debris, dead trees, and so on, actually right across the river and then with the river continuing at the other side. So from this elevated position that I've got myself, I've set up again my tripod, using again my Canon 7D, my 10 to 22 mil lens, and at a focal length of about 18 mil, I've changed the f-stop now to f-16. It's giving me a shutter speed of one-fourth or one-quarter of a second. Well, let's try that shot. It could be interesting. It would be nice if we get a little peak of sunshine coming through, but it could actually be a little lower than these trees are now, so I don't think that's going to happen today. Not at this time, anyhow. Um, but really, really interesting. I'm going to change the focal length, bring it in a little bit and take it out so I've gone all the way in all the way out on the focal length which is between 10 and 22 mil I do that a lot I like to get all the ranges of my focal length but I'm gonna pick one of those that I kind of like which is actually about there and I'm gonna take a shot now I'm also now going to change my exposure to one stop over going to take that shot. I'm going to change again my exposure to two stops over. I'm going to take that shot. I'm now going to change my exposure to one shot under. I'm going to take that shot and I'm going to go to two shot uh, two stops under. I'm going to take that shot and I'm going to go right back to what my camera tells me is correctly exposed again and I'm going to take that shot so I've got two shots at what should be correctly exposed I got two shot I got one shot one over two over one under two under this is going to be an HDR image we're going to see what it looks like and you know what if it looks like anything worth showing it doesn't matter if it does or it doesn't either way I'm going to show you it right now So there, yeah, huh. amazing, a lot of fun, um, 
today is the, I guess it's Friday the 13th. Boy, I just thought of that now. Friday the 13th of October, so we're approaching halfway through October. The temperature today in Fahrenheit is around about, oh, 70, 72 degrees, which is pretty good for central Ontario at this time of year. That's fine. Kind of muggy, humid feeling, but as I say, the, the weatherman did say possibly rain. I could see it, but we are getting some nice breakage in the cloud, too. It's a thick, thick cloud, but we're getting some little breakage here and there. We might get a, sun, a sunset, which would be really, really nice. Now, we're going to head back, but on the way back uh, to where the car is, I did notice some really nice fall colors on some leaves. We might stop and take a shot or two at those. So, hey, let's head back that way. So just walking down the trail, just another three or four hundred yards, I come to another location. Again, I'm elevated now. Again, pretty high. So again, pay attention. That cliff is right there. Uh, having said that, just ahead of me, there's some really interesting fall colors. Um, and the erosion on the cliffs as it's being cut away and trees are actually starting to fall down. And I had to ask myself, what's causing this? But of course, I know exactly what's causing this. Here in Ontario, um, in the springtime, we have an, a, a tremendous thaw um, and there'd be a huge amount of water from all the snow and ice just careening down this river. It would be wild rapids. We're definitely going to come back then and take a look, by the way, because it would be really interesting. But that's the only thing I can think of that would create this kind of erosion in the banks. Anyhow, having said that, I have got my camera set up too. I'm going to say we have F-16, we have an ISO of 100, we have a focal length of 20 millimeters. It's giving me a shutter speed of half a second. There. You know what? It might be interesting. I'm just going to change the focal length a little bit longer. In fact, I'm going to go all the way out. I'm going to go all the way out to 10 mil. Back in a little. Back in. One more. There we go. So again, all through the ranges of the focal length. Now, looking down here, um, totally different perspective one more time. So we're going to turn the tripod. I'm going to put the camera back to a horizontal or landscape uh, configuration. And we're going to have a look down there through the wide lens. And let's just see, oh my, oh yeah, let's see what that looks like. That's actually looking really, really, really kind of interesting, you know. Yes, it does. So right there, again, with a, a, an f-stop of f-16, an ISO of 100, 100, I got the focal length all the way out to 10 mil. Oh, I like that shot. Although, needs to be leveled up a little bit. There. Now, I'm getting some interest from that sky. That's one thing. You know, that's one thing about a wide lens. There's pros and cons to all different kinds of lenses. Nobody says you have to do, use a wide lens for, for landscape photography. I use lots of long lens and long focal lens for landscape photography. But right now, I'm getting the bottom of the gorge of the river with all the dead wood blocking the river itself. I'm getting the trees. I'm getting the dead trees pushing out here. And I'm also getting this nice kind of macro sky. And I just love a macro sky, by the way. I, I don't see why. There's no reason why that should not be a good image. There's none whatsoever. Oh look, the sun's just starting to come out now. Now the sun's just starting to come out and it's just starting to kiss the top of some of these trees. Now that is awesome. That would be really, really pretty. Hey. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm really, really, really lucky that I chose photography. I'm sure there's something else I'd rather do. But whatever it is, I really, really can't think of it right now. My goodness. It's strange, you know, like up here, you're looking at the top of the trees and it's almost as though I could reach out and touch the clouds. Wow. 
What an absolutely beautiful day. My goodness. Okay. You know what's interesting? We're on the trail heading back. And sometimes it's actually quite difficult to see the trail. Uh, simply because we're getting so many fallen leaves now. Just because of the time of year, fall. Um, and it's really difficult to follow the trail sometimes. Um, I'm starting to see through the trees some amazing light. Or at least some light, anyhow. Uh, which means we actually might get a sunset. Uh, it's looking good, to be honest with you. So, hey, let's see. Let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so, I guess the question is, did I get a, a, an image of the sunset? I have to say I did not. Was it because there wasn't a sunset? No, there was a beautiful sunset. Was it because I had no battery power? No, I had lots of battery power. Quite often, I get sidetracked. On my way back along the trail, I stopped to take pictures of a little stream and a small waterfall. By the time I'd done that, this was what's left of the sunset. I missed it. Story of my life. When my ship came in, I was at the airport. Hmm. Anyhow, there's always tomorrow. <laughs>